Hey everyone, it's Everything Ape here, and in today's video, I am going to be comparing Windows 11 to Rectify 11 v2 in a speed test slash general comparison. Rectify 11 fixes a lot wrong with Windows 11, like such as consistency issues, but how does it fare with 11 in terms of speed? Let's find out today. Alright, so first we're going to start with a startup test. Now for this one, I actually made sure that fastboot was off on both computers to eliminate any discrepancies like with the last speed test which will be linked in the cards, as well as took out the battery of the laptop to make sure that both were equal. Now I had to speed up the footage as both computers took quite a while to boot, but eventually we do see that Rectify 11 does beat Windows 11 and it was actually quite a difference in person, where Rectify 11 took about a minute 30 while Windows 11 took a full 3 minutes, which is absolutely insane. But yeah, you can see even after logging in, Windows 11 goes to the desktop but isn't really usable until a few seconds later. So that's why it took longer to boot. But then after that, both computers are fully ready to go. And comparing the storage sizes on both, Windows 11 takes 38 gigs while Windows Rectify 11 actually takes 24, so a full 14 gigabytes less storage. Next up, I decided to compare which system used less RAM than the other while having 30 Chrome tabs open. And as you can see, Windows 11 had 4.4 gigabytes of total system usage, while Rectify 11 only had around 3.2 gigabytes of total system usage. Again, quite a bit of a difference, considering that, in my opinion, every gigabyte counts, and this is 1.2 1 1 gigabytes we're talking about. So, quite a bit of a difference, like I said. Next, I'm going to compare the highest recorded temperature on the CPU while having Prime95 running in the background. And as you can clearly tell, Windows 11 was at 84.5 degrees, while Rectify 11 was at 80.5, so slightly cooler for Rectify 11 than Windows 11 in this case. I also decided to compare the minimum idling temperature, and here we can see that the difference between both operating systems is even smaller, with Windows 11 idling at 39.9 degrees, or rectify idles at 38.8. All right, so for the next test, I'm gonna be opening both default browsers, which on Windows 11 is Edge, and on Rectify, it's on Google Chromium. Edge actually loaded slightly faster. However, it's clunky new tab slowed it down and gave the win to Rectify 11, which is why it shouldn't have a very clunky new tab. Next, I did a Wi-Fi speed test on both using the same end server, Beaconsfield Metro Connect, and Rectify initially seems to have the lead here, However, Windows 11 does manage to catch up and level out the playing field between both, at least for the download speed. As you can see here, it slowly climbs back up until it's only about a couple of digits away from Rectify 11. And as you can see for upload speed, Windows 11 actually manages to beat Rectify 11 here. So that is a first because, you know, first win for Windows 11, I guess. And Rectify 11 comes second for the first time. So I decided to put this to actual real world use by opening YouTube on both. And as you can see, YouTube actually loaded first on Rectify 11 before it could load on Edge. Then I decided after YouTube to load Yahoo. And again, once again, Rectify 11 manages to load Yahoo a bit faster to the point where I actually have to pause the footage. Whereas Windows 11 has to take a bit more time to open Yahoo. So moving on from these website loading tests, these next tests are going to be focusing more on which OS can actually utilize the hardware better. Starting with the Audacity test, where I exported the same clips to an, the same edits to an audio clip, and here Rectify 11 is actually substantially faster, with it completing the rendering test about 10 seconds faster than Windows 11 is able to, unsurprisingly. Next up, I did an export test in Bandicoot, which I cut one of my videos. I had to use Bandicoot because no other editor would really work. And as you can see here, Rectify 11 actually ends up crashing, oddly enough, which is a bit weird uh, for it, but Windows 11 does end up winning the test. Alright, so going back to the basics here, kinda, we're going to be doing the Office test. Starting off with Word, of course I'm using 2010 again because I just decided to. I opened the file on both computers, and as you can see, Windows 11 took quite a while to open it, whereas Rectify 11 opened it almost instantly, Though it does have a kind of weird formatting issue, um, but either way, when Windows 11 finally manages to open it after quite a while, 
of loading. So far, it has a lot of ground to make up. Next, I'm opening the same spreadsheet on both machines, where you can see that Rectify once again opens it faster than Windows 11 can, as you can kind of tell here. And then after that, I also open the same PowerPoint on both computers. And although the difference was much smaller this time, Rectify 11 does open it slightly faster once again. Moving on from that to another more simple test, I open the same media file on both with Windows 11 opening it in Groove Music while Rectify 11 opens it in Rise Music Player. And this time, Windows 11 actually wins for the first time in a while, opening it up faster and then Rectify 11 ends up opening it slower, ends up crashing. So big win. Opening up the same video file on both, you can see that Rectify actually uses photos for its videos while 11 uses its standard video player and Rectify 11 wins yet again. I also open the same photo on Rectify 11 as I did on Windows 11 and Windows 11 took such a long time. I'm not even joking when I say this is the raw clip of it taking literally 10 seconds to open a photo in photos. That's absolutely criminally insane and this should definitely be fixed because of how stupid it is. Now moving on to the 7-zip archive test where I created an archive for the same files. After I hit create, Rectify 11 actually ended up pulling ahead at first. However, oddly enough it ended up slowing down, allowing Windows 11, which was at a more consistent pace throughout the test, to actually speed up and take the test by storm with it winning over Rectify 11, Rectify 11 taking quite a bit after. This is definitely quite interesting. My theory about it is that maybe Rectify 11 isn't really too good with sustained loads. Either way, Windows 11 kinda needed this win at this point as it was losing so bad on all the other tests that having a win was definitely something that it needed or else it'd be shamed in this test. After this, I decided to copy the same file to the same USB on both and while Rectify 11 was a bit faster at the beginning, it ended up more or less evening out with Windows 11 after, with Windows 11 only having like a couple of seconds of difference after Rectify 11 had copied its file to its USB, so another very interesting result. And finally, for the last categories, I decided to compare Geekbench scores. So as you can see, Rectify 11 does score quite a bit more, around 200 points for single core more and 400 points for multi-core than Windows 11 can actually score. The same thing actually goes carries over to Cinebench where it actually scores 9 points more than Windows 11 manages to score. So I guess Rectify 11 just utilizes the hardware better. So this wraps up my speed test of Windows 11 against Rectify 11 v2. And even though Windows 11 definitely had some wins over Rectify 11, the fact of the matter is that Rectify 11 is not only better in consistency compared to Windows 11, it is also way faster as well, winning an overwhelming majority of the tests as well as a lot of the benchmarks. I really hope you enjoyed this video as it took quite a long time to make. If you didn't enjoy it, however, don't like, don't comment, and don't subscribe. I'll see you all next time.